How to repair, replace the bottom plate of a storage tank jacking method. Let us do the basic preparations. The tank, under maintenance is first gas freed, piping connections dismantled, checked and certified by the safety department. If required, fire screen, safety barrier is also erected around the tank. For floating roof tanks, the seal is dismantled and removed. The rolling ladder to the roof is dismantled. Disconnect the roof drain. Considering safe load bearing capacity of the soil around the tank periphery, structural members of heavy plates are placed around the tank periphery for erecting the vertical trestles. This is required for transferring the vertical load uniformly to the ground. Preparations for tank lifting Jack up method is conventionally used for bottom plate replacement work, involving jack mounting attachments to the tank and localized foundation reinforcements under the jacks. A reinforcing ring is normally installed around the inner or the outer circumference of the shell plates. This prevents any distortion of the shell plates from residual stresses, which may have accumulated during the construction and surface, and retains the correct circular profile during the rectification work. A cutting line is normally marked a minimum of 1 inch, 25 millimeters, above the base of the shell plates will help to remove the existing weld metal from the shell and annular plate joint and the extent of corrosion at the base of the shell plates. After erecting and aligning the vertical trestles and stay pipes the jacks are mounted on the trestles. Connect the hydraulic circuit. The lifting lugs and fend-off lugs are welded to the tank shell. The load of the tank is transferred to the jacking units by initial operation of the hydraulic pump. The tank shell is separated from the bottom plates by gouging or cutting the shell to bottom plate weld. On completion of the cutting operation, the entire load of the tank is transferred to the jacking units. After checking, the hydraulic pump is operated and the tank shell and roof is gradually lifted to the required height. Cut and remove the annular plates. Before cutting the bottom plates, the pipe supports for the roof are removed after providing temporary supports at various locations. To avoid continuous loading on the jack-in units, the entire tank can be lowered to temporary structurals or supports placed uniformly along the tank periphery. Cut and remove the bottom plate in sequence. After inspection, tank foundation is made ready in all respects, including installation of cathodic protection system if required. Lay the newly fabricated annular plates complete the welding, complete the tests as per the required CODs and standards. Mark the center line of the tank, mark the annular plate circle on the foundation. Lower the tank to the annular plate and do the fit up with the shell. Lay the bottom plates, complete the welding and testing as per the CODs and standards. Complete the welding between the annular plate to the shell plate. Complete the welding between the annular plate to the bottom plate. Dismantle the jack units. Install the floating roof supports, on its required positions. Install the rolling ladder, foam seal assembly, roof drain assembly etc. Install the piping connections, 